Hi, I'm Debbie Wu. And I'm Brielle. So, you think you know what the three primary colors are? You might be surprised by the answer to that. So, so, so. So, what are the three primary colors? Red, yellow, and blue, right? No. Nope. It's actually magenta, yellow, and cyan. She's pretty smart. She's right. And if you go to your local printer, they'll tell you the same thing. You can also just check your printer at home. You know those three little dots that show up? Have you seen those? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like a hot pink and a yellow and like a light blue color. So that's yellow, magenta, and cyan. And your printer can make every single color on the planet. And what proves this is that red, yellow, and blue can never make magenta. But magenta can make red. Oh, God. Oh, you're so gross. You don't want to know what our dog's doing right now. <laughs> so nasty. Yeah, he's got some issues. If you take magenta and a little bit of yellow, you can make red. But you can never mix colors to make that hot, pink, beautiful magenta color. So that proves that it's not really a primary color because there's a color right there that you can't make. And we're going to prove this. So what are we going to be doing here today? Today we're going to be mixing colors to prove that red, yellow, and blue aren't the actual primary colors and that magenta, yellow, and cyan are. And so how are we going to prove this? What are we going to make? We're going to mix paint on plates to... We're going to make color wheels. We're going to make color wheels <laughs> to make paint. <laughs> yes. So what colors are you going to mix? I'm going to be mixing the true primary colors, which are magenta, yellow, and cyan. And I'm going to be mixing red, yellow, and blue, and you will see the difference. We actually don't have cyan because we went to the store and every single brand was out of it. So it's not always easy to find cyan. So if you just use a primary blue... They're pretty close. Yeah, it works. Because you can make cyan, like a close cyan color, by mixing blue and some other colors, but we'll get into that on another video. But for today, so we're going to be using primary blue, yellow, I'll be using red, and using magenta. Yes. All right, so follow along with us because it's fun mixing paint, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Brielle is on the right and I'm on the left. So I've got the yellow, red, blue colors. Brielle has the yellow, magenta, blue. Okay, so we're going to start off, grab your brush, and we're going to make an orange. So we're going to take a scoop. Start with a big scoop of yellow, and you want to put it right in the middle of, and you're going to do in the middle of the yellow and the magenta. I'm doing it between the yellow and the red. Big scoop of yellow, and then just take a tiny bit. Start with a tiny, tiny bit. We can always add more, but just start with a tiny bit of the magenta. I'm doing the red. And then let's kind of paint it in a square shape. When you got that right color, then you can just paint it in a square shape. Because so we're going to create a ring, sort of a color wheel thing. Okay. Does that Should seem like a, I need a little more of it? Should I add more magenta? No, I think yours is perfect. Okay. Mine is not. Yours is. <laughs> let's do our green next. So now we're going to take a big scoop of yellow. Put it right in between the yellow and the blue. And then take a teeny bit, teeny, teeny bit, because the blue goes a long way. Barely any to start with of blue and mix it into that yellow. Oh my gosh, that goes so far. Look at that. Got a nice pure green. It's just there like the styrofoam is kind of making it white and I don't have... It's just because I have thicker paint, so mine's more solid. Yours actually looks prettier because you have the white showing through, but it's the same green. Here's where we're gonna see a big difference. We're gonna take a scoop of red, put it right in between the two, and then a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blue because the blue goes a long way. And this is gonna be interesting. I am supposed to be mixing a beautiful shade of violet or purple. Oh, wow, mine looks really good. Oh, I love that color, it's so pretty. Look at mine, this is like, the ugliest. Let's try more red. Oh my god. That's not really helping. Such a big difference. This is so ugly. <laughs> I think adding a little more blue to it kind of helps it start to look like purple. It's like brown, blue. This is... Sinus. 
Let's see if the uh, camera is really truly showing how, can you see that? Is that even like showing it? Look at this, that is not pretty. <laughs> it's so ugly. I put a, put a tiny bit more blue in that because that's gonna be pretty much be the color that we're gonna make. Yeah, it's gonna... Yeah. So a little more blue in it and it's gonna, oh gosh, that's so pretty. Look at that, that's like the pure purple. When you think of purple or violet, that's what it should look like. Not like mine. This is not pretty. <laughs> We've got the three primary colors, which are the yellow, red, blue, or yellow, magenta, blue. And then you have the secondary colors, orange, green, and what's supposed to be violet <laughs> or purple. What is violet or purple there? Now we're gonna do the tertiary colors. So the tertiary colors are the third level. So let's take your orange brush, Brielle. We're gonna mix a yellow orange. So let's take a big scoop of yellow and you probably have some orange on your brush still, so let's just swirl it around. You might have enough on there just to mix a yellow orange. You might so. not. You need to add a little more orange into yeah, it. Sorry. Yeah, actually, sit away. Oh my god, Poet, you're so loud. <laughs> Can you hear him snoring in the background? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so funny. He's sleeping with a dog bed in his mouth. You see him? Oh my god, oh, he's so funny. <laughs> he pulls it out of his crate and then falls asleep with it in his mouth. He's nuts. He likes chewing on that bed a lot. I know, he loves yanking the bed out of his dog crate and then he tries to run down the stairs with it too, it's really fun. <laughs> Did you see him doing that earlier today? Yeah. He tried to run back up the stairs and he kept stepping all over it and tripping on it. struggling. Yeah. Okay, so that is a pretty... Put a little more paint just to make it thicker. So then you don't have the plate showing through and it'll just be a little thicker. And then you're gonna make the other th tertiary color. You're gonna take a little bit of red. So you're gonna add a little more red than that first orange that we mixed. So it's gonna be a red orange. So when you describe the tertiary color, you're gonna use the primary color name first and then the secondary color. So it's gonna be red orange instead of orange red. Not that it matters that much. Nobody really cares if you say it completely correct, but that's just the way I was taught Mine looks like your red. It does, oh yeah. So this is a, thank you for bringing that up. I forgot to mention this. So the primary colors that we all grew up knowing, the red, yellow, blue, you can't make magenta from those. So there's a color that you can't make because we always learn that you can make all of the colors from the three primaries. Well, that proves it right there that red is not a primary because magenta can make red, but red will never be able to make magenta. So see how she added, magenta and the yellow. So add a little more magenta to it and it'll be even more pure red. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna take a big scoop of yellow and just swirl your brush around because you have enough green on there already probably since we didn't clean that brush off. And we're gonna make, a, what would you call this color, Brielle? Um, uh, yellow green. Why would you call it yellow green? Because the primary colors come first when there's a mix. Very good, you're such a good listener. <laughs> Just kidding. She's 11, I don't usually talk to her like she's a baby. <laughs> Just being silly. I think I need a little more green in my mix. As long as it looks like it's in between the yellow and the green, you're good. thinking we were using different colors, but we're not. You're just better at this than I am. Why am I the one teaching classes? <laughs> Maybe you should take over. I have done a few classes with you. She has, she helped, te helped me teach a couple of classes. When she was really young, she used to take all my classes with me and she always had to sit in the front seat. She'd get really mad when other kids <laughs> would beat her to her chair and yeah, it was pretty funny, pretty sure but it was I so cute. Made you move, move them. Yeah, I would always save you a special seat. And then she helped me teach a class once. We did a mother-daughter paint night, and we had two easels at the front of the it's a good studio, and she taught the kids, and I taught the adults. adults. It was really cute. Were you nine? You were nine years old then. I was. I yeah. thought I was eight or seven. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you used to take my classes when you were like seven, right? Okay, so now we're gonna make a, what would the next color be, Brielle? Um, if it's between the blue and the green, 
spell? Blue green? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Blue. So take just a teeny, teeny bit, oh, shit, whoops. teeny, teeny bit of blue, and you're gonna mix that up and make. Ooh, I love this color. It's so pretty. Blue green. This one's my favorite, probably. Is it? Even though like the purple's really pretty. Pretty. Your purple is so pretty. I know. So we're gonna be doing another color mixing video. Well, I am. I don't know if Brielle will be in it or not. Too. You want to be? Okay. Yeah. Um, where I'm gonna teach you how to mix like every color you can imagine. So we're gonna add white and black. It'll be a way more in depth. So we can make those beautiful aqua colors and teal, all those favorite colors of mine and yours, and those corals and peaches. Ooh, I get so excited mixing colors. <laughs> I'm weird. I know. What would you call this one? Um. Well, for mine would be like... <laughs> yeah, yours would be a different name than mine. Mine's like reddish mud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mine would be magenta purple. Magenta purple. I mean, it, it would actually be... This is officially called violet. Oh. Magenta you know, you violet. grow up learning red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. They never said red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Did yeah. you learn that song? That, that's, no. You never learned the rainbow song? No, well, I mean, I didn't learn it with violet, but... Right, 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 right. <laughs> But the song, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, yeah. Okay, I won't sing anymore, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a scoop of red, put it in between the red and the mud, or the red and the gorgeous violet right there, and then you're gonna mix those together. I'll take a little more blue, because my muddy violet is already dead, or dry, I mean. I think I might need Oops, a little bit more. Need more of that. Blue also. So just make sure. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Is this good? Oh, or should I? Or, or you know, put a little more blue because it's almost the same color as the magenta, which I know, yeah, I is just beautiful on its own. Okay, again, mine's not pretty. <laughs> and now we're gonna make the blue violet color, or what is supposed to be blue violet, which, oof. Actually, this one's not too bad. It doesn't look anything like blue violet, but it's kind of pretty. Mine kind of looks like a. Ooh, that's so pretty. That Look at that. Oh my god. That reminds me of moldy ketchup. Moldy ketchup. That is disgusting. I don't know why. Have you seen moldy ketchup before? No, it just like, <laughs> looks like moldy ketchup. So you haven't eaten any moldy ketchup? I mean, I hope not. That's good. Not at my not in my fridge. So let's spread out the primary colors now, just to fill in the color wheel. Hopefully, you guys learned something about red versus magenta, if you didn't already know that. So here we go. We got the, let's show the ugly one first. <laughs> you got these nasty looking colors right there that look nothing like violet. And you've got these lovely <laughs> violets and <laughs> gorgeous mix of colors. So I think it's no contest. The winner is magenta. Yay! <laughs> Did you just say yay too? <laughs> Thanks for watching. And make sure to give it a like if you liked it. And please, please subscribe. And make sure to hit that little bell so you get notified every time she posts a new video. Very good. Anything we hope else? You learn something new. Yeah, we hope you learn something new. And have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I always look over there. I'm oh shoot, there. no, I was looking at the the whole time. More um the Should I see yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Make sure to give it a like if <laughs> it's hard, huh? This is not easy. Yes. Oh, good job. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly dog? <laughs> Did I wake you up? <laughs>